Today on The Joy of Editing, I'll be using the Nick Collection 6 Glamour Glow Filter found in Color Effects, and then I will combine that with the power of the TK9 plugin for Photoshop using the new Edit Blend If feature. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Cully. Today I'm pulling out the Nick Collection 6. I'm going to be using the Glamour Glow filter on this image. The Glamour Glow filter is one of my absolute favorite filters found in Color Effects. After the image comes back from Color Effects with a Glamour Glow filter applied, I will use the TK9 plugin for Photoshop and the new Edit Blend If feature to fine tune that Glamour Glow result. And you'll see how effective this is. So let's get started. And by the way, I do have affiliate links for DxO products like the Nick Collection, as well as the TK9 plugin for Photoshop in the description below this video. When you use my links, I make a small commission, and this helps me to keep tutorials coming your way each and every week. And for that, I thank you. The first thing I want to do is launch Color Effects, and I'm going to launch it from my Nick Collection 6 palette, and you'll see Color Effects right here. Now, if you don't see yours, you can come up here to File and come down here to Automate and then just click on Nick Collection 6 Pellet. Now, if you always want to keep that pellet open, you could click this little gear icon and check on right here, Open Nick Collection Pellet automatically on launch. I don't like to do that because I don't use it all the time. I'm just going to click Cancel. I made myself an action called Nick Selective Tool, which I'll provide for you. I'll leave it in the description below. It'll be a Dropbox link. If you have the TK9 plugin for Photoshop and if you own the Nick Collection 6, you could download that free action and install it into your My Actions panel. Once you close this, if you click this action right here, it just opens it right up and then you can close it again. So it really makes it convenient. So as I said, I'll leave that link for that free action in the description below this video. And now it's time to launch Color Effects. So I'm going to click this button right here and this will launch uh, Color Effects. And then we'll just have to look through this long list of filters here and find Glamour Glow. And it's right here. And these are in alphabetical order. But here's Glamour Glow right here. By the way, you can favorite filters. And then if you click on favorites, it'll filter just your favorite filters. So that makes it convenient. And to favorite a filter, just click on the little star next to the filter name. You could shut that on or off. If it's on, it's favorited. And it shows up in this favorite list. Okay. But this is Glamour Glow. Now there's a drop down right here. And I'm going to click it. And what I want to do is they give you some different presets like a subtle glow this is a subtle glow here's a stronger glow here is a strong glow which i'm going to use this one today just to show you the power of the tk9 plugin for photoshop because when i'm using the plugin for photoshop i like to make my effects a little bit stronger because then i will target the areas of the image that i want with the tk9 edit blend if feature but then we have a cool glow and we have a warm glow and then, of course, you can go over here and make adjustments on all the different settings over here. And you can use control points and the whole nine yards. I'm not going real deep here, but I'm just going to use this strong glow preset right now. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to mess with the shadows or highlights because I really don't have to. And you'll see why once we get this back into Photoshop. Now, if you want to, you can click convert to smart object. I'm not going to do that, but you can do that right from within the color effects if you'd like. That's a really nice feature, by the way. I'm going to click apply and we're going to send this back into Photoshop. And there we go with my super strong effect of Glamour Glow. Now I know it doesn't look good at all because if you look at these shadows over here, they're all blocked up and they don't look really good. I like what's happening back in here. This looks pretty cool here. But now we're going to couple the TK9 plugin for Photoshop and Edit Blend If. And to get to that Edit Blend If, you'll click this button right here. And now that opens up the Edit Blend If panel here. This makes editing Blend If very easy to do. It's, it's super nice, and I love this new feature in the TK9 plugin for Photoshop. So if you really like to use plugins, you will really enjoy the TK9 plugin for Photoshop because it can really help you just to get those effects from the plugins onto the areas of the image where you want it to be. It doesn't have to be like a global plug-in result, which makes it really nice. For now, I'm just going to close the Nick Collection 6 palette by clicking on this X here so it's not in the way. But here's our image. Now we're going to play around with this Edit Blend If. 
and we're going to look at different possibilities. So what can we do here? Well, one of the things we can do is we could target different luminosity ranges. What would this effect look like on Lights 1? So let's click on Lights 1. And there you can see, here's my before and here is after. So it's only targeting light tones. And now what I'm going to do is experiment with different tonal ranges and see what results we can get. Then we have uh, like mid-tones, like mid-tones 1, 2, or 3. So I'll click on mid-tones 1. Now it's only applying it to mid-tones. And you can see by these sliders where the blend if is set right here, which will correspond if I double-click this icon right here. It corresponds to these underlying sliders right down here. I'm just going to click cancel for now. But this lets you see it front and center. And you can adjust these sliders as well, as I'll show you. But that's mid-tones 1. Let's try mid-tones 2. Now it'll be a little stronger effect, only targeting mid-tones. And by the way, you see this double arrow button in magenta. If I click this, wherever you're seeing that magenta or pink, those are the areas that blend if is targeting. So that makes it very easy to understand what's happening. If we look at this shade of magenta in the water, it's not quite as strong. So that area is not getting as strong of an effect. But now let's go to like midtones three. Let me shut this off first by clicking this. Now let's go to midtones three. So now we're going to get a stronger effect. You see that? And again, if we click the double arrow button, we can see the areas that are being targeted. So that's pretty cool, right? Now, what would it look like in shadow areas? Let's try darks one. Now it's targeting the dark shadows, but I don't really want that, right? Because I use that strong effect and it's blocking up the shadows. So that would not be the right direction for me. Okay, let me go ahead and reset this now. I'm gonna show you something else here. Down here at the bottom, I'm not going to go over every button on Blend If because this tutorial would get really long, but I'm going to show you today Target. And now this image has a lot of reds and yellows in it, right? And those are the colors I really want to target. So let me show you what we can do. Right now, I'm not applying any Blend If. And you can see right here, you don't see the icon here, so I'm not using any Blend If on this. But now let's try something. Let me target just the yellow tones. But first, you need to check on this checkbox for target. And now we can target two different color channels. I have a lot of yellow, so let me go ahead and check on target yellow. And you can see now it's only targeting yellows. Now here's the before and here's the after. And now if we click the double arrow button, you can see the area, areas that are getting affected. See, it's a very light magenta, so not a very strong effect there, okay? So let me uncheck this. And now let's target reds. And now you can see my effects a lot stronger, right? If I shut off this target check here, I can see the before and after. So here is the before and here is the after, just targeting reds and yellows. Now, if we go down to the layer and shut the eye off, we can see what the before and after looks like. So here's before glamour glow and here's after, but it's only targeting the reds and yellows. Isn't that really cool? Now we could do something else here. See this circle right here? This is a slider. Now if you want to see tooltips, hold your Option or Alt key down and hover over any button. And you can see here, use this slider to determine the degree to which the targeted or excluded colors affect how this layer is revealed. Moving the slider to the right reveals more of the layer and moving it left conceals more of the layer based on the target or exclude color choices. So let me X out of here. So if I want to reveal more of that layer and I can take this slider and start to drag it to the right. Now you don't see anything happen until I drag and then release the left click of my mouse. But you see how I can fine tune this and bring more of those colors in. Isn't that cool? To see the before and after the target, uncheck target, uncheck it by clicking on it. There's before and you can see how strong the effect is and here is after. And then don't forget, you can always click this double arrow here and see how we're targeting those areas, right? Let me go ahead and uncheck the double arrow so we can see the image back because we don't want a magenta or pink overlay on our image. And by the way, with this target, you can only target two channels at a time. Right now I'm targeting red and yellow and they have to be adjacent. In other words, if I shut off red, I can target yellow and green. If I'm on yellow, I'll shut off green. I could target yellow and red. If I'm on red, let me shut off yellow. I can target red and magenta because these are adjacent. Now, if I want to target 
magenta and blue you see if i try to click on blue nothing happens because i already have two checked on right two color channels checked on so let me shut off the red channel and now i can click blue and now if i want to click on cyan it won't let me if i want cyan and blue i have to uncheck magenta and now i can do cyan and blue and so on and so forth but they must be adjacent but for now let me go back and target my red now notice i can't click on red so what i need to do is uncheck cyan and blue now notice what happens when i uncheck blue i'm not selecting any channels right now this resets okay so now i will target red and yellow again and then i want to take this slider and bring a little bit more of the layer in to somewhere right around there but i can go further here but this is what i like so far do you want to go further let me show you what we can do this is so cool at this point, I'm targeting the red and yellow channel, and I've added a little bit extra of the overall layer in, but now what if I just want to target Midtones 3? Well, check this out. I can come up here and click on Midtones 3, and now you notice I'm only getting Midtones 3 of the red and yellow channel, so that's pretty cool, right? But you can also adjust these sliders as well, okay? So if you look at the overlay on this center bar right here, the pink or magenta overlay are the areas being affected. And if I want less of the shadow tones to be affected, I can take this slider right here and watch this overlay as I start to drag this over. See how it's moving away from those deepest shadows and protecting those shadows. So look at all this different control. I can do that also for the highlights. I can bring this in if I need to, but I don't really need to. So check it out. Here's my overall before, and here's my after. And I started out, if I uncheck gray, I'll just eliminate this setting up here that I just adjusted up in this area with these tones up here. You remember I went with uh, Midtones 3, and then I pulled the shadow slider to the right. So I'll shut that off by unchecking gray. And then if I uncheck target, we can see what the image looks like with that full glamour glow effect. So there's the full glamour glow effect. Here it is by targeting red and yellow. Pretty cool, right? And here it is by just targeting the midtones and keeping it off the shadows when I check this gray back on. So there we can see. And here's my overall before, and here's my after. But I started out with that very strong Glamour Glow adjustment, and with the TK9 plugin for Photoshop and the Edit Blend Diff, I'm able to apply Glamour Glow just to the tone arranges and the colors that I want. So I find that pretty cool. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. The TK9 plugin for Photoshop, along with different filters from plugins, is to me a marriage made in heaven. So you got to give this a try. And this will work for any kind of filters. The TK9 plugin is really great. And I'll do some more videos using some different NIC filters, like their detail filter and things like that. And even like some of the Topaz filters that are found in Topaz Studio too. They're really great coupled with TK9. Hey, if you enjoyed today's tutorial, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing!